Welcome back to Farm and Hammer everyone. In today's video, we're going to be going over this piece of paper right here, which is just my receipt from selling calves at the sales barn last week. If you haven't checked out that video, I would recommend you do so first before watching this one. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at some of the numbers and I'm gonna try to share with you uh, how much I profited or how much I lost on this year's bottle calf crop. So here is my receipt. You can see all the numbers there. You can see my name at the top. I just covered up some people's names that probably don't want to be on there. Anyway, let's take a look at them. So let's take a look at some of the numbers here. So the first group, which was only three head, uh, one of them was a twin. The other two were really young. They were the youngest ones I had. And they averaged 473 pounds. Total weight, there was 1,420. And they brought a $1.25 per pound. So the total amount for those three was $1,700.75. The second group, which is a group I was not very impressed with, I thought they were gonna bring the most per pound because they were this all black group. And there were eight of them in this group. They averaged 646 pounds a piece. And the total weight there was 5,165 pounds. And they did the worst, like I said, they brought a dollar ten per pound. And that totaled $5,681.50. The third group, which sold the best, there were seven of them. Those were the white face calves, mostly. Uh, there were a couple, I think there was one or two, so all blacks in there. But So out of the seven, they averaged 789 pounds a piece. So they're my heaviest group. Total weight between the seven was 5,525 pounds. And price per pound, they brought $1.30 per pound. And the total amount on those was $7,182.50. Then the last group, there's only four. And if you guys remember, those were the weird looking ones. Those are ones, the one that almost looked Holstein, like paint job wise, and the red one. And then basically all the Simmentals that I had, they were all bunched up in that group. Even the black white face, they somehow picked him out. So these four did better than I thought they would. There were, obviously there were four of them. Uh, they averaged 715 pounds. And total weight there was 2,860. And then the price per pound was $1.12 per pound. And the total check for those three, those four was $3,203.20. So total head, 22. Total weight, 14,970. And then the gross check was for $17,842.20. And then now let's take a look at some of the charges and what my final check was for. So, so some of the charges, the BFC, they charged 22 bucks total, dollar a head. To haul them, as you guys know, I had a guy come and pick them up because uh, it would have taken us like three trips of the trailer and then on a little longer than an hour drive. That would have taken a lot of gas money. So uh, this guy charged 150 bucks to halt, which is not too bad. Um, and then insurance, they always charge that. Uh, it was 40 bucks and 40 cents. Then the SCOM was $396, and that's just what they charge to. That's what they charge you to sell them at their sales barn. And then the vet inspection, that was two dollars and 64 cents. So total in total with the hauling, they charged me 611 dollars and 10 cents. So if you subtract that from the $17,842.20, my check was $17,231.10. Honestly though, I was pretty happy with the price per pound. I was estimating they bring about $1.20 on average. They didn't really, but they came close. They also didn't weigh as much as I thought they would, um, which obviously brought me a little less money, but I did estimate before I took them, I was like, if they at least make $600 a head, I'll at least do okay. So they brought $800 a head, which is a little better than I um, estimated. So overall, I'm pretty pleased. Like I said, obviously I would have hoped those eight black steers would have brought a little more, but can't change it now. So now let's go over what all I had in these things, how much I spent and all of that. So first of all, if you guys remember, I spent $150 per calf this year cheaper than the first year I did it for the beef cross calves. And anyway, so I spent 150 bucks a piece. So there's the first cost. Then I spent about $70 per bag on milk replacer. Most of them I was getting for like 63 or 65 bucks a piece. Um, but some of them I ended up spending 75 because I had to get them at a different place. So um, on average about 70 bucks a piece. Then my calf mate grain, those are about $9 a bag. And I estimated that each calf went through two bags of those, so another 18 bucks. 
And then with vaccines, and then even if you count the little bands, um, just some extra bonus stuff, just in case I've got stuff, scour pills, things like that. Um, I added another 12 bucks just to make it an even 250. Whether or not that's totally accurate, I don't know, but um, I don't think I spent more than 12 bucks extra past the milk replacer and the grain. So that 12 bucks would also include antibiotics, which I only used on a few of the heifers. I really don't think I used much on the steers. I'm trying to remember, I did have to did have to give a dose or two to a couple steers, but overall these steers I didn't spend much on on antibiotics at all, which is pretty good. So let's talk about the grain aspect, which is probably the most expensive, at least in this year's case. So when I'm talking about grain, I'm talking about everything I fed. That includes what I fed the heifers. This is my total grain bill for the year. And so for the first nine months, I was feeding, I was feeding four buckets per day and those buckets have about 32 pounds of grain in them a piece. So that ends up being 128 pounds a day times 30, 30 days in a month and that equals 3,840. And then you multiply that by the nine months I fed four buckets a day. And that gives me 34,560 pounds of grain. That's for the first nine months. Then from September to December, I started feeding six buckets a day. Some days I wouldn't, so I have all this added up. I'm gonna skip all the crazy math here. Um, but in total there, I have 18,480. So if you add those two together, so my total grain, or my total pounds of grain I fed was 52,590 pounds. And then the grain we paid for was $10.31 per hundred weight. So take the 52,990, move the decimal place over twice, and then multiply that number by 10.32, or 10.30, that's what I did. And in total, I spent a total of $5,460, and I paid for 44 calves. And so if you divide that up between all the calves, I spent 125 bucks a piece on grain per calf. Add the 125 to the 250, and that totals $375. And we'll just round that up to 400 in case I skipped anything. I had about $400 a piece in them. And like I said, in total, they averaged 800 bucks a piece. So I made about 400 bucks a piece on calves. So if you remember last year when I just did straight Holsteins, that is a much better number than what I made with those. So in total, I don't even know if I made $400 in the end on those Holsteins. So um, this year is much more profitable, which is which is a good thing. <laughs> um, means I'll probably do it again here soon. Um, yes, I could have fed them a lot more grain in the beginning. They probably would have weighed over 800 pounds by now um, instead of 700. But once again, the more you spend on grain, the more money out of your pocket. So, and also towards the end, I started feeding some hay. I fed three bales of hay, which those were $30 a piece. So 90 bucks total, add that up, divide. So once again, should be about $400 a piece per calf to raise it this far per year. So that does not mean if you raise calves right now, you're gonna have $400 a piece in them. If you feed them less grain, obviously your bill's gonna be less. If you feed them more, your bill could be more. It all depends on whatever you're doing. Don't expect to spend exactly what I spent on calves, grain, or milk replacer. You're just gonna see what everything's going for in your area. So anyway, but as you guys know, I do still have 18 heifers out there and I haven't sold those. I don't plan on selling those. I'll be putting the bull in with them hopefully in next week's video or sometime this week. Um, so the 1st of January, that's when I'm planning to put the bull in with them and see which ones breed, which ones don't, I'll be getting rid of. But let's say I'm gonna keep all the heifers and we're gonna see if the steers covered all the expenses for the heifers. In that case, I would have a free group of 18 heifers. Let's take the 400 bucks times 18. That's a total of $7,200 I have in the heifers. But if you see how much I spent on all 44 calves, multiply 44 times 400. Obviously some of these calves didn't make it this far. Um, I only had 40 total at the end, so I lost four calves. Um, some of those died during weaning, some of them died before weaning. You guys will have to look back on the old videos to see which ones died where, but um, I didn't have $400 in all of them, but this just makes math easier. So 400 times 44, that's a total of 17,600. Basically, since my check was for 17,300, or 200 something, um, I'll have to look at that. Um, it almost covered all my heifers. If I throw the bull in and I get those preg checked, 
If I sell off all the ones that didn't breed, oh, well, that may be five, it may be 10, who knows? Um, all those would pretty much be profit. So, um, but if I would have sold all the heifers when I sold the steers, I'm gonna guess they probably would have bought, brought $500 a piece, which isn't much. Heifers aren't doing well now, especially Dairy Cross. So um, $500 I'd say would be a pretty good average. And well, let's add that up. 500 times 18, I would have profited $9,000. So for the year, yes, if I would have profited $9,000, that's a heck of a lot better than last year. Um, but because heifers aren't worth a whole lot this year, and I'm assuming they won't be in the near future at all, um, if I do get bottle calves again here in the next couple weeks, I won't be getting heifers this time. If I do, they're gonna have to be cheap because if I can get a steer and make $400 on them versus $100 per heifer, same amount of work per calf, steers are gonna look like they're gonna do a whole lot better than heifers. So anyway, right now i pretty much broken even, but all my heifers are paid for. And I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, 22 steers covered all my expenses, grain expenses for themselves, as well as 18 other heifers. So pretty happy with that, can't really complain. Um, I got 18 heifers that I owe nothing on. And whenever I sell the ones that don't get bred, that'll be some money right in my pocket. So was it a good year? Yes, it was a good year. I can't say, I can't complain much. It's better than breaking even or losing money. So obviously it would have been nice if some of those steers would have brought a little bit more. Like I said, those buyers weren't, there weren't very many buyers there when I sold, which wasn't really good. So um, I'm gonna check out my options, see what other sales barns are out there. But I may be going back to the same sale, sale barn this next year as well. So. so with the Christmas season all kind of wrapped up by now, I hope you and your family all had a great Christmas. And uh, I hope you guys are all looking forward to 2020. Um, I'm pretty excited. I got a lot of things I want to get done in 2020. Also, as many of you guys know, I did graduate college in the last couple weeks. And so currently I'm looking for a job. That's what I've been spending a lot of my time doing. And uh, I'm also looking for some pasture to rent kind of locally and see what I can find. Because I do kind of want to grow this bottle calf operation thing more than what I could do here at my parents' place. So I won't, it won't mean that I'll be done with my parents' place for now, but um, I'll be doing stuff in both places if I can find a place to rent. So. Um, I do want to kind of grow more than 40 calves this year if I can. And so anyway, a lot of stuff to look forward to in 2020. I'll have a video on all that later. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.